Hello viewers, today I feel like I should show you how you can create your own VPS, like a free VPS. And I'm going to create this account so you can, you have to watch me step by step so that we can do this thing uh, all together. All you need to do is to follow the steps I'm going to take and then we go. So we are going to use this website hkisl.net, that's what you are going to use. And then all you need to do all you need to do is to click register register and after clicking register you enter your name for example that one then for the email you enter and your email I'm going to enter the The number which you want to enter you enter your personal number so let me enter my personal number then after entering your number then you need the next step is to enter your company name, which is optional street address city postal code so you can get all these from uh, just simple website here you can come to fake it fake it and uh, they will get you this website to provide you all some details if you don't want to use your details you can come over here and uh, you choose a country for instance I can choose USA after choosing to get these details I'll get the username I'll get the address for instance can you can use that one mm -hmm. press okay then the city go back and copy for the city for security purposes I don't recommend you to use your 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 own email and then here you have to select the country then here you select the password which you want for instance i can enter this password okay. and then you confirm okay then you enter then you click register well we have we are done with registering our our so all need we need to do is to confirm so we go to the email and we confirm Well, they will send you the email address as you see it there with uh, the main IP, the password, the root password. So for security purposes, I will cover some of the credentials here. So you go on and get yours. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, use this uh, VPS to be connected to your use it in HTTP injector and uh, your EHI files. For this video, thanks for watching. We we'll meet in another video.